Privet all you perch anglers out there and welcome to the fourth episode of Perch Pro 8. It's the second day of the tournament and most of the teams are dealing with less than ideal conditions, which to be honest gave us some pretty crappy results for the first half of the day. It's right after 2 o'clock and we just had the final phone report so from now on the teams will be kept in the dark and they have no idea what to expect from the coming episodes. So far team sporting seamen are holding the number point with 40 approved perch as well as the top 5 point with 207 centimeters while team headbanger lures are holding both the big fish and topwater point with a 46 centimeter warrior. Some of the teams have only been at it for a little more than 2 hours though so there are still plenty of time to turn this around. Perch Pro 8 is brought to you by Alumacraft fishing boat since 1946. One boat network, all together now. Kingfisher Angelraisen, fishing trips to some of the best destinations in the world. And JR Logistic, staffing and recruitment of truck drivers and warehouse workers since 2004. Hey guys, welcome back to episode 4 of Perch Pro Season 8. Uh, this bait, uh, Spitfire in the black color, gave us two very important points from the one fish, the 46 cm perch. We have to keep up the good work and try to catch four more big fish, I think. Yeah. The numbers, we're out, but uh, there's a lot of big fish in this lake, so now we just have to catch them. The weather seems to be a bit on our side. Yeah. Didn't look like it would be this good weather at this day even, so some sun should do the trick. Yeah. Let's go. Hello guys, welcome to episode 4. We are in the dark now, so we will not know anything about the other teams, what happens. We will just do a small move, short, small move to the spot 20 meters up here. So, follow us. Hello guys, welcome to episode number 4 from the Papa guys from the middle of Sweden. We are kind of, uh, well... It was a tough report because, um, yeah, we didn't expect that um, somebody have waters where they can catch these huge fishes on top water, but we are happy to know it right now, so we can prepare ourselves to... Yeah, we have a chance here in the evening to catch a 47, yes. 48, 49, yes, we but we have to, uh, to work out for that, so... That's the plan for this season, for this episode. Yes. So again, keep on using to keep get on the using. top water point because if we want to have a chance to win this thing, we yes. need the top water point today. Otherwise, I think it's almost no chance. So it's very hard. keep on popping, plopping, plopping, and popping. popping. Welcome to a new episode of Parch Pro, and we are here checking the GoPro material yes. because right before the report, I lost a big fish right to the boat but we're not sure if it was or like i'm sure it's a perch i re thought it was an asp <laughs> if it was an asp it doesn't matter if it was no. a big perch it matters yeah so we, we have to check we're checking the material if we should stay here or if we should continue the fishing should so, we stay or should we go somewhere else what are yeah. you doing bro oh, fish, fish. it wasn't perch for me it looks like a perch hard to say I need a bigger screen. Can't we zoom in? No, not on this one. It's not possible to tell if it's a perch or... No, whatever. Let's continue fishing. Let's conti yeah, but then I say we should stay here for a little bit more. Yes. And in this episode, Team Ney Stroft are going for the big perch. We only need one big fish today. If we can catch five, that's good, but I think it's quite hard today. So we're going for one big fish and we can get it in any cast. So we just need to keep on casting the whole day, be 100% concentrated, and then we might have the chance to get the big fish point today. As Ivet would say, keep on hammering. And luckily, Ivet needs to do this as well. He needs to keep on hammering today because he's fishing in Holland as well and hasn't caught a single perch, approved perch either. So the Dutch teams need to keep on hammering. Welcome back guys for episode four. We uh, struggled in the third episode. We will promise you to step up now. We're gonna do some topwater fishing, try to do two new spots, and we are still motivated for a big fish. So uh, stay focused, thumbs up, and follow us in the action. See you soon. It's obviously a tougher day also in Sweden, buddy. Cause... So, so actually we, uh, we made a really good call to come to the river today. Do you think the current's died down now? It looks like it. Still a bit of flow there. If it is 
dropping off, I think we're going to fish those humps where we had that last fish. Yeah, I mean... Because if it's changing direction... We've this now for about, what, 45 minutes? Yeah. If yeah. it's changing direction, the perch are going to basically come out of wherever they've been sheltering and just sort of feed on that point. Yep. So it could, I agree. could be a good move, yeah? Yeah, Should man. we go for that? And we have some more spots up there. Yeah. So we should hammer those also. Yeah, because we haven't had anything in here, so... Welcome back to Pertfro and Team Sporting Seaman is out here in this shitty weather. Um, the report, launch report was quite good for us. We in the lead with the numbers. We need to get some bigger ones, but we continue doing a lot of net fishing. I'm now fishing with the new net pincher from Isaac's gear. Super nice one who caught a lot of fish so far. And um, for the net fishing, I used the Vestine W6 15 gram. Super nice rod for this kind of fishing. And together with the MGX, you're ready to rock. So um, we got to keep the pace up, catch a lot of fish and catch a lot of big ones, hopefully. So uh, look for this and hang in there, guys. We keep on hammering with, with, uh, with one smaller bait to get some numbers, I guess. Yeah. But one of us should go over and fish a bigger bait and try to get bigger fish. Yeah. Uh, but I, will, I think I'll go over and fish a big fish. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So, hello guys, welcome to episode 4 of Perch Pro 8. We are team Fischgenny and yeah, we are here to get the top 5 of the day 2. Yeah, let's uh, see what the rest of the day brings us. I think maybe we need this 46 or 47 to get the big fish point with the stand of now. Yeah, let's catch some Lankas and maybe a tank. That was our goal for today. Yeah. Stay tuned. So, first cast, episode four. We know that Headbanger caught a 46, so it's tough, but we are kind of happy to know it now, that we have at least a chance to, uh, to react on that. Yes. And we are even more pumped now, so we can just keep on fighting now until the end to get over 46, and that's the plan for the rest of the day. The fishes are here. We just have to catch them. Yeah. That's the plan. Keep on oozing. Keep on oozing. Yes, it could be better. It's better. No, Should I net it? No, but it could be a keeper. F no, it's not. Well, is it a keeper? Ooh, no. We really have to fight hard for getting this point. First perch of the episode. Gut gemacht, guys. Further north, Thomas has upsized to the 10 cm big TRD to target the big ones. If it's a perch, it's quite okay. Fishing with a big TRD, molten crawl, this is a good fish. Mine was tiny. Oh, yeah, ah, big, it's good not one. Super big, but. Don't lose it. I get it, I get it. I get it. Get it up here, I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Here we go! Good start! Yeah, baby! Woo! Woo! Big bait, maybe, huh? Nice fish. Our plan to fish a little bit bigger bait seems to give efforts directly. This is the bigger turd. Molten crawl, 6 0 hook, 10 gram head. Nice fish. A little bit older, probably. Check the length. It's a 45 again. 45, yeah. Nice fish. <laughs> Time to release it. Upsizing to a big net paid off beautifully and now they upgraded their top 5 to 214 centimeters. Nice job Thomas and Stefan. The plan to fish a bigger lure paid off directly with this 45. We have several more strikes and bigger lures, even uh, Dans can change lure as well to a bigger one. So they're striking hard. Uh, that's a small one. Lost it. So keep on watching. Now I'm concentrating on fishing. There, you got it one again but a small one. Even the small ones go on this rather big fish, bigler. There you go. So we're starting up on this new spot. Both me and Pelle using a crow. So let's see if they want to eat that. I hope so. We saw some really good uh, fishes on the sonar. So the pole should be out there. Sure? Yeah, I'm sure. 
Pelle and Peter have found a big school of perch hiding in the shade of a big boulder at the bottom of the lake. They started off using the Irial Craw since they know that there are lots of crayfish in the lake, but the school seems hesitant to go for an attack. After a few casts without any bites, Pelle tries an acebo worm rigged on a Ned head and now they seem way more interested. This clearly shows the importance of playing around with different lures and techniques, especially when the fishing is tough. Come on, wolf pack, the afternoon snack is served. That sits up. Totally inhaled it. Look at that beauty. Yeah, yeah that's a nice fish. Yeah. Prick 40. Okay, guys, we found a new, new spot. Really cool spot. Fishing up a big rock, up for it, and this 40 centimeter perch just follow it up from the rock and uh, on the top of it, it took it. Really cool, really cool strike. 40 centimeter, we have an upgrade, Peter. Yes, nice, 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 nice. We are on something now. Bye bye. Well played, guys. An important fish that upgrades them to a top five of 202 centimeters, and the best thing is, there are plenty more of them down there. On the big lakes of the Netherlands, Team Neistroft are going for one big perch, but so far they're only getting the pike to bite. Of course I hope it's a perch, but it's going to the side. Yes, then it's probably a pike. Oh! We have a pike catcher today. Looks like a pike. Is it is a pike? Catch really, really many fish, but... Nice size also, like 80, but pff, that's not what we need, guys. Oh, it's a nice pike. What? Ah, fucking hell. I was really hoping for a big perch, but yeah, it was clear from the beginning. It's too heavy for a perch, but it's good to have some action. Next fish will be perch, promise. After a rather quick topwater attempt, Adam and Ebert are going to more traditional subsurface lures. At least you gave it a try. It's, it's the wind is blowing too hard to do uh, good top water fishing. For top water fishing, you need to have a little bit of calm weather because with the waves like this, it's it's not possible to do it in the right way. So that's why uh, we change spots. Fishing, uh, Adam is fishing with the uh, Astro Vibe, and I'm fishing with, uh, with the Jig Head, trying to get some bites again. The conditions in the Netherlands were pretty okay in the morning, but now the situation is getting bad. Team Gator are moving out to a spot on the windy side of the main lake and are hit by a wall of huge waves, making it almost impossible to simply move forward. We've said it before, but this is shaping up to be some pretty nasty conditions for perch fishing, to say the least. Easy conditions. Easy peasy. So far, it seems like it was a wise decision to start early when the conditions were way better and the fish was biting. Neither Gator, CWC or Neistroft have had any action whatsoever since the wind started to pick up a few hours ago. Let's drive up there real quick. Let's last last the drive. As an angler, there are three elements of the weather that we need to battle. The wind, the temperature and the rain. Some of us can stand a lot of wind, but we'll go straight back home if it gets too cold, while others hate rain more than anything else. Welcome to the north of Sweden, where the weather is not so nice. It's windy and it's raining. It's really bad weather and the fishing is, I don't know what to say, it's really difficult. But uh, it is what it is. That's competition. You gotta do it, you gotta do it. Hope that the rain will stop pretty soon so we can get back to normal. But uh, unfortunately it doesn't look so good for this day. It started raining again, but I like it. When it starts to rain, I think the fish will get more active. We had a good morning. Or morning, actually, we started quite late. It started 11.30, then it was raining and we had good fishing. And now we've had some strikes, still waiting for the bigger ones. Hopefully something happens, we'll see. Fish on? Nice. Yeah, it's not big. It's a smaller one, but it's still fish in the boat. Do you think it's the crew? No, it's not. Only cranky shad. 
first sign of life in a long while for Headbanger, a Smalley who obviously had a meal before eating that cranky shad. It's now past 3 o'clock and we haven't seen too much action in the first hour after the report. The bad conditions are apparently affecting every team despite the large geographical spread. Now Kingfisher Angelraisen are changing spot. So this was our secret spot. Sometimes you see them hunt there and then there's a lot of bait fish. Right now we see them hunting and there's a lot of bait fish. So this could, there they are chasing, you see it? So this could be like, this was my favorite spot of, of this area. Usually this is bubbling, then it's really good. But now we have to, to see if we get them on the hook. Don't waste time, let's do it. Let's kick some asses. Let's get some fish. They must be here. I think if they take it, we have to force them hard that they don't go in the locks. Yes. Because it's packed with locks. <sighs> My heart is beating so fast. There is so much bait fish. We just did the first cast and just check this out. How much bait fish there is in this channel. It's unbelievable. It's packed. You see them jumping like away from the lure, but it seems as the perches are not here. They come here to feed, we know this, but it's too much bait fish, so we just need that one lucky punch. But if they come and hunt here, the table is packed for them. It's so much bait fish. Check Ooh. this out. Holy shit. But this looks more like a pike. Do it, man. It's amazing. Man, my heart. Check this out. Do you see the amount of bait fish? So what I'm doing now is we have no success with the, with the bigger poppers. So we just try to downsize now a bit. Actually. This one was working really well yesterday in a bigger size. So we just downsize it a bit and try to imitate the bait fish as good as possible. So this is almost the size which jumps out of the water when they are hunting. So we have to try this now, give them a try and let's see if we can make them get to a point. Jesus. Yeah, yeah I think that right. this okay. that is a bite. Now. Unbelievable. Maybe don't get them. Get crazy over that. Yeah, we went to the to the mouth of a river to uh, try some weed beds and um, escape the wind for a while. Did some coffee, some uh, meditation, and now we're back on... Meditation? <laughs> yeah, but with, it was similar to that, right? <laughs> now we're back on the uh, spot where we think that we can catch five fish in the remaining three and a half hours. So... Three? Uh, I think this is a pike, but... Could be a perch. <laughs> Let's see what it is. I think it's like a big pike. Maybe it's the 57. I wonder what the f no, is. Pike. No, this is a perch for sure. <laughs> <laughs> On the blade? It, yeah, no, a jig. This is a big pike. That's one for sure. It's really heavy. No, it's not that big either. Come on, surfer dude. So you puked something up. Yeah, puked a uh, bait fish. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, go down, down, and then rush. It's a nice bike. Whew, a lot of energy in those. In the south of Sweden, Team Fish Candy are aiming to catch at least three more good sized perch for their top five, and now Marte just changed over to drop shot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems like a decent sized fish on the hook for Martin. Sometimes changing the presentation of a lure from one technique to another is what it takes to convert a bite. Yeah. Approved perch number three of the day for Martin and Torben, another dark beauty measuring 37 centimeters. They now have a beautiful streak of a 39, a 38 and a 37 on the scoreboard. Start building upwards from that and you'll have a good result at the end of the day. Up north, Team Sporting Seamen just hooked into a potential upgrade. Okay, here is the biggest fish for a while. We've been only small gangsters all the time, but this is a little bit bigger. It's um, hooked on a turd, semen turd. Let's see how long it is, maybe 43, 42 something. The measuring board is so wet now anyway. 42, nice fish, beautiful weather. What can be better? 
Nothing. Oh, fish ball. This is the legendary Curly Lucy in our favorite color. Super nice one. This is Twinkie. We caught tons of fish on this one. Nu är det jakt i betestimmet här bredvid oss. Oj, 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 vad det jagas. Fish on. It's a clicker at least. On the borderline though. Det är 30. Ah, nope. 29. Var det 29 det där? Japp. Better. This is... This is looking good, Peter. I don't... I don't pressure so much. like 33 or something. It's 4 o'clock and Team Bite Oblique have put in some hard work during the last hours. They started the episode with 24 perch on the counter and are now up to a number of 43. Only 8 fish behind Team Sporting Seaman. Both teams started fishing at the same time and were at an equal number after the first few hours but then Bite Oblique had a slow hour while Team Sporting Seaman had a good one and the score was 24-40 at the phone report. But now Pelle and Peter are rebouncing. At the bottom of the scoreboard we still have three teams with zero fish in the bag and the clock is ticking. So you see us on the move again on this little um, spot where the, where the uh, warm water comes out and the bait fish was. We hadn't had, oh we had one hit. So we had to do something. We just need a fish which is at least 46 and we had the biggest fish in pre-fishing here. So um, try our best to get it now here. We had actually one hit now, but we missed it. So um, time is running, we are gunning, so we need that one fish. We just need one fish, which is over 45. So that's the goal for now. Rain is picking up again. So yeah, we will see how the day goes. The time is four o'clock and we still haven't caught a single perch. So that's zero. And we just keep on grinding, changing one spot to another, drifting slowly or uh, going slowly forward with the electric engine, just covering ground as much as possible with chatterbait. And hopefully we're gonna catch one big fish before the end of the day. Last cast and we leave. Yeah. It's uh, four o'clock, we're still grinding the same spot as we've done most of the day. It's this uh, shallow point in the middle of the lake with a lot of rocks and a uh, small roach is hiding between the rocks and the schools of big perch move up here to hunt. Uh, we think what we really need is uh, one big fish, a 50 plus, to beat or get tied with the uh, nace fish, because that would give us some extra points in the end. And we know that this spot is where we have the best chance of doing that in this lake. We're just waiting for a, a period when the fish gets active. We hope that the wind will die down a little bit in the evening and that we can have some surface activity or to catch them on the cranky shad. So uh, I'm going with the cranky shad right now and Marcus is casting Spitfire. So let's hope for that one big fish. Yeah. A decent one. I'm fucking ready. Ah, first approved. Oh my god. Huh? It's like a 30, but. <laughs> but still, it's a 30 plus. Yeah, fish. It's an approved fish. Oh, even bigger. We are on the spot, baby. Okay, let's make some quick measurements. Uh, this is... 37. So guys, that's... A 39. 39. Wait, 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 wait. Other fin tip, other fin tip. 39. Yeah, 39. 39 and 37. We're back, baby. <laughs> we are still... In the game. In the game. <laughs> okay. Finally, CWC fishing team are contributing to the scoreboard and they do so in style with a nice double. Well done, gentlemen. Okay, we went back to the spot where we were struggling the whole morning. Not a single bite. I just started on the deeper waters, like between six and seven, slowly moving in to the little bit shallower. Well, shallow, it's like five meters in here. 
we just cast inside towards the shallows and it was boom boom 37 39 we won't win perch pro with it but after uh, almost uh, like a full day struggling it is really a relief that we have some fish keep going for the next one a decent one it's <laughs> not even that <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had a big one can we uh, yeah, measure both on the board behind it's caught in one cast <laughs> then it's a long perch double catch two for the price of one astrophyte did the job two in one cast <laughs> After a long dry spell, Matt is finally hooked up. But what is it? Xander, I think. Oh, do you want me to Yeah, net it. Fuck. Oh. Have you got a permanent marker? And if, like, if you've got an orange and a black, I reckon a couple of stripes on this, mate. And uh, we, it could pass as a perch. Yeah, man. Meanwhile, Team Fish Candy are also struggling to catch the right species and except from Sporting Seaman and Bite Oblique, they have clearly been more pike than perch caught so far today. And there's a pike on. He actually missed the lure <laughs> once and I speeded it up so that it doesn't take it. But now it's on and I think it's stuck in the weed. Damn it. It's a lot of weed, but now it's free. Yeah, now it's free again, so I see if I get netted. There he comes. Damn it. That was a bumpy landing, but the wrong speeds here, so thanks for coming in. Back she goes. When running a competition like this, it's important to make sure that all the teams are following the rules, so every now and then we like to take a stroll in the helicopter to see that everyone is following protocol. Luckily we rarely find anything fishy going on, but this round we found one case of a team using a non-approved technique to catch fish. Let's have a look. Clicker. This is a approved one, a clicker. Now we find a, found a new school of bait fi or fish, a lot of perch. So just look at this, we take one directly. There it happened, very easy to miss, but the rules of Perch Pro clearly state that vertical fishing is not allowed, and that right there was a very clear case of vertical fishing. This is a nice one, not a long grip probably, but okay, fish. Clicker. I'm sorry Thomas, but that fish won't be approved in the tournament since it was clearly caught while vertical fishing. We're sure it was an honest mistake in the heat of the moment and it doesn't take long until they're hooked up again. In a proper cast, this time. Yes! Change to a seaman hogs. Now a big one there also. Give me that, give me that. I thought it would be good. Here we go, now a bigger fish here. Two terrain. nice ones, yeah. really nice lunkers. Ah, we need bigger. Yeah, yeah, we always need 40 bigger. plus, but... Ah. How big was yours? 42. 42. Yeah. So 40 it's... plus. Oh, you know, slang the rim in the bait in the water. Huh? Just a flug in the jigger. You roll the whole hand, you roll the whole hand, you load three stuck in here and slang the rim. You load them here? Yeah, here. Nee. Jo, for fun, you're plump, plump, plump. Oh, sorry. Shadowbaits, boom. All three the shadow baits. They, they, probably, they were mine already. Yeah, they were. They were in all other jackhammers. Jackhammers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Keep on hammering now. He's like bigger a, fish. He's feeding with. He's feeding the perch with shadowbaits. <laughs> That's very expensive. <laughs> it's. It works like this. I need to remember. It works to like this. You, you give some and you get, you get some. some. That's how it is. You sacrifice something, you get some. Yeah. Bream, right? Or pike? And it's a really big fish. But I think it's a bream. A huge one. <laughs> I'm like Martin Luther King. I have a bream! <laughs> yep. Perch? Yep. Perch. No bream. 
fucking dream. Yeah, fool in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I felt him take like five or six times. Man, then I saw it like gold. I was like, it's a monster perch. <laughs> and you are free, my friend. You put your nasty sauce on my leader. You catch spikes, <laughs> breams. Bream, jizz. This is big. Bream. Oh, it's off. Bream, right? No, it was like. Boom! It was a big perch. Oh, it came off, Adam. Oi, 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 oi. This was a big one. It was like boom. Okay. We are on the spot. That's also fishing. It, sometimes you lose some. But this was a nice one, Adam. Yeah. It was a super hard strike, and then it came off. <laughs> that was super empty. <sighs> yeah, fish. The biting is on, buddy. The net is in front of your feet, but just flip it. Yeah, approved. It's on the edge of approved, but it's 30 32. Two. Yeah. We have 39. 37, 32. 32. Two more, and then we got the paper check. It's five o'clock and finally the bite has picked up for CWC fishing team, but that is far from the case for Tobias and Dustin. This has been too hard. I imagine it to be hard, but not this hard. Maybe a perch has been on the line today, maybe. I mean, we caught quite much bike. <laughs> yeah, it's true. At least they seem to be active. Seemed to be active. Yeah, Toby and I were talking for at least half an hour now about what to do tomorrow. Uh, but due to the fact that this is really, really hard fishing here and we fished here also a lot in pre-fishing and it was never really good. We kind of considered to burn our best spots on this water. We wanted to save for tomorrow um, because they are three kilometers away from here. But I think we do totally different plan tomorrow, a high risk move. We haven't pre-fished the water we want to go that go tomorrow. And I've never fished it before either. No, I, I fished it because the, I mean, this is here kind of my home, second home. But um, yeah, let's burn our spots here. Let's And take a high risk move for tomorrow. Yes. We have, I don't know, three more hours maybe. Something like that. How much more? Yeah, three. Three more hours. So then we go to the Three best spot in the e fishing there in the evening, and then we might catch a big one, hopefully. Wish us luck. In please. the beginning, yeah, it's like you said in the beginning. You told me, do you think we'll catch anything today? And I said yes. Now I've changed it to, to hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I know this water can be really, really tough, and at the moment it's not easy. And that's why I was asking Toby. Do you think we catch something? No, the question was, oof, phew, the question was, do you think we catch five perch today? <laughs> and then it was, yes. And then I uh, asked him, do you think we catch a perch today? He said, yes. Ten minutes ago I asked, do you think we catch a perch today? And he said, hopefully. <laughs> Half an hour later I will ask him again. I think he will say no. But now we're going to the best spot, so that was the last cast here, Dustin. No, I have one more. You always have to call your last okay, cast. Okay, but I'm calling my last cast. Now. Yeah, that's this good. This will be my last cast. Yeah, let's leave Dustin. Yes. I'm too tired for this. Getting old. I'm not, I'm not tired, tired. I'm just tired of bad fishing. Ah, oh, oh, team Chaos. We nah, no, had... no, it's not Team Chaos, it's Team Dustin Chaos. No, we haven't had our Team Chaos moment, I wanted to say. Okay, yeah. Still need something. <laughs> Maybe the net in the line when a 55 perch is on the other side of the line. And then, luckily, we will manage to catch it. What the f*** is that? Ah, let's go. Let's catch Team Chaos. We'll catch a big perch now. 50 will we have to beat and I think it will be 52. As always it's all or nothing for the German Swedish duo and right now they're at the nothing side of it. But we'll keep our fingers crossed that the high risk move will pay off. 
As they keep saying themselves, they only need one solid fish to turn this around, which can happen in any cast. Another team who needs one more fish right now is Bite Oblique. They're at 59 perch while team Sporting Seaman are at 60. Now every missed bite could mean the difference between getting the point or not. Okay guys, 59 perch. We are going for the 60. Number 60 is mine. If you catch it, I will no. tackle you into the sea. It's gonna be mine and no. it's gonna be a big fish. I'm gonna take it. Watch and learn. We had uh, about one and a half hour now, total rain just pouring down. We are so wet. Um, hard to find the big ones. The small bites, but the big ones don't want to bite. It's okay. Okay, Patch. Good job, Peter. Number 60. And lots of hours left to fish. Yes. Last time we were here, we were here pre-fishing. This time... Of day. Of day. We started. Yeah. So yeah. everyone knows that the crawfish come out... In the evenings. In the evening. Yeah. yeah. So we hope that we have the best hour left. Yeah. So just, just keep them hammering, like Everett's going to say. Sporting, they were at 40 at uh, midday. We don't know when they started, but we are. <laughs> my feeling is we try to chase them. What do you think, Pell? Do you think they're keeping up with us? Yeah. Or we with them? I think they have more than 60 fish now. So our hope is that Sporting started a little bit earlier than we, than we were. And you guys know that this day, in this competition, this day, you have 10 hours and you can spread it out as you want. So we hope that they are some hours yeah. forward. That, that we started like two hours after them yeah. or something. Yeah. But we don't know that. So we, we don't know. But we, we have to do our job, right? Yes, yes. Yep. Catch a lot of fish. And the big ones. Yeah, we want some big ones. Some big ones for our total top five. Yep. Even if we cannot make it today. <sighs> sky is clearing up. Yep. Yo, Chompa, what do you think about the other teams? How do you think we are doing? compared to the other ones today? Oh, it's really, really hard to know. But in Sweden, we have had shitty weather. And as most others, as us, we started really late, uh, starting fishing. The first report was probably when people only been fishing for two hours or so. So we, that doesn't really count. Um, but due to the weather, ah, it should have been really hard fishing today. Uh, we know there's big fish here but we haven't caught any big fish so uh, probably it's the same for the other teams as well it will it, it will be hard to catch a big fish today most likely um, especially here up north but what do you think the biggest fish today was 46 you think we will manage to get one today bigger than 46 bigger than 46 to win today you need a 50. yeah to win today you need 50. to get the point every day you need a 50 now in the, back in the old days, you could do it with a 48 or 47. That, that's history. Three teams in Holland. There are so many big fish down there. You don't only need one cast. And team Headbangers up north in some super waters too. You only yeah, need one bite. It's scary. It's so... <laughs> one bite is all it takes, then you can change the whole thing. But we haven't had have any contact of the real, real tanks. It's really strange. A lot strange. of long casts, but no tanks. It's so strange because the test fishing we had, we just fished a couple of, ah, in this lake only 50 casts. And in the other lake we fished yesterday, we, we fished about... You have one cast. One cast. One cast and it was 49. In this lake we had 50 casts, we caught 150, 148 and a half, 147. 49. 49. No, uh, nothing. Uh, strange. But it's not too late, we still have a couple of hours here. Actually, we have four hours. Yeah, four hours. So, our theory of starting late will pay off. We hope. Hopefully. Yeah. Under the rainbow, can man fish here. We're fishing under the rainbow. That's where you find the 50. And it's a double rainbow as well, actually. I have a to hold open a really big abbor in this background. If you get a 50. Då jävlar alltså. Det känns ju så overkligt att man har stått här och kastat i liksom snart 10 timmar. Att det ska hända, men det kan det ju verkligen göra. Det är det som är sjuka. 
when going for big fish we're often talking about very few opportunities per day but the reward can be incredibly high down south team fish candy are also waiting for their bite Yo. Yes. if this is a perch this is a 40. he smashed the lure i think it's a perch really big one maybe a 40 plus Where is it? Or it's a pike maybe? No. It's a big perch. Yes! Yeah! Whoa! That's the one we need. Look. The rhythm rape from Jack Owl. See, so smashed the lure. Nice bait. We have to be quick guys, we can't, don't lose time, I think, 44, yes, Yes. our biggest for the competition, look guys, what a beauty, that's what we want, oh, what a beauty, great, yeah, yeah 44, what a f***ing amazing strike, what a relief to finally catch a beauty like that after struggling so hard for a full day. They still need at least one more fish for the top 5, but from then on they could start getting dangerous for real. Down in the Netherlands we're entering the final minutes of the day for Team Gator, as well as CWC fishing team who were the first teams to hit the water in the morning. After 10 hours of grinding in the heavy winds, an extremely tough day with crazy condition has now come to an end. Well fought chaps! All right, Matt, last cast? Yeah, go on then. Last cast. Last Episode cast. Episode 4, Season 8, Perch Pro. We only need 250. Double hookup would be quite epic. Let's Ooh. pack up and get the f out. I gave it off. You sure did. It was a great start, but then it all slowed down. Now Adam and Evert are also waving goodbye. Well, I would say it was like one of the worst. Yeah, this was the worst shooting day in the history of me. Yeah, we always had uh, at least uh, five fish on the board, always. Not today. Well, we made a game plan compared to the new rules. And uh, I think compared to the other teams, uh, like uh, Team Nace, they had zero at the 1400 report as well. The other team who's also fishing in the Netherlands had also slow fishing, so I think yeah, they were complete off and yeah, whatever we did, we fished from really shallow up to like one meter until six, seven meters, nothing's works. And that's also fishing. You can't have it all. And uh, well, today was not our day and it is what it is. But we are not lost, we are still in the game. We have a total uh, new day tomorrow, so uh, watch us for episode 5 and uh, me and Adam, we never give up and uh, yeah, let's hope for the best and uh, thumbs up and uh, see you next week guys. Final cast of a long day, so we're gonna break it down and then build it back up for tomorrow. Yep. Sounds good? Perfect. And first, pizza, chips. Hot shower. <laughs> yes, bump it. Okay, see you in the next run. Great effort guys, but today it didn't bring you all the way. That's fishing. <sighs> F*** it. On another lake, Team Neistroff just arrived at their new spot and they're not defeated just yet. Oh, fish, fish. Yes, it's perch. It's a big perch, I think. Yes, this feels like a heavy perch. Mm. Yes, it's a perch. It's coming. It's a big, it's a, it's a big perch. Yes! yes. Oh, it's big, yes, it's big. That's what <laughs> <laughs> My god, it took us so long, so good that we burned the spot. <laughs> but it can be closer to 50. No, well maybe. It's actually quite long. <sighs> 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 <sighs>
Martin, can you use the measuring board? Of course I can. And then we can see how long it is. And this could be a really important fish. This can be, if we're lucky, the big fish point today. If the other one is catching really bad, because it's actually quite... Oh, it's, it's 49. Well, well yes, it's, it's 50. It's on. It's definitely on. It's on. You see, it's 50. Approved. Approved. 50! <laughs> <laughs> the same 50! Yes! Told me for you! Oh my god! You see, we thought it was because it was so skinny. skinny, it wasn't 50. But it's 50! <sighs> oh my god, we said we just need one fucking fish today and that's the fish? That's the fish? <laughs> that's the fish we needed! <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god! Let's put it in the water and then we take some pictures. Yes, luckily we burnt this spot because this is actually one of my best spots I have in this water. And we want to keep that for tomorrow, but now we burned it. Tomorrow we need another plan, but this is so good, so good. I'm so happy, Toby. <laughs> yes! I couldn't, I, like, yes! I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it when I got the strike. I told oh. you, what did I tell you? I said, here I caught a 52 on that spot. And then two minutes later, boom! Yes! And, and uh, now I can answer the question. Will we catch anything today? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we will! <laughs> Boom! Hey, that's, that's <laughs> fucking, fucking, fucking amazing. I couldn't have said it better myself. That is actually fucking amazing. This scoreboard clearly shows that the higher risk of failure you're willing to accept, the higher the possible reward if you end up getting that one bite. What an accomplishment, Tobias and Dustin. I can't even describe how happy I am right now. So I think we should just let this perch back and then keep on fishing. Because we, I don't yes. think we'll catch five perch today, but uh, who knows, we might catch a bigger one. I'm always positive. I'm also so <laughs> fucking happy, that's so good. It's such a, you know, fishing for seven hours already, not a single perch, and then this tank just came in our net. I'm so happy, so, so happy. This is good. It could be the big fish point today and also it helps us a lot for the biggest five all over. That's a correct assessment of the situation, mister. With that fish, Team Neistroft increased their total top five to a stunning 239 centimeters, which right now gives them the point by a great margin. On top of that, they're also holding the big fish point of day two, as well as the total big fish point over all three days, putting them in an extremely strong position. Toby caught his perch on a bright color of the shadow bait, so I will change the trailer as well to a brighter color. I don't know, actually I'm not a big fan, but Toby had two fish now on. One fish, it was an asp, it wasn't a perch. I still think it was a perch. We will see, I mean you will see of course now in this episode, but we will see it tonight on our computer, so. Toby. Do you think we will catch five perch today? I've changed the answer from no to hopefully. <laughs> but still I'm leaning to answer no, not five. I'm just happy if we catch another one. I'm already happy as hell. I mean, this is quite perfect. I mean, of course, it might be not a big fish for today, but at least it's a really good upgrade for our all over five biggest fish. So I'm really, really happy. Very good job, Toby. Very good job. Thank you, Sam. Today, the beer is on me. Like always. <laughs> so the time is six o'clock and this report is way better than the previous one, but it's still quite easy because we only have one fish, nothing to count. And the biggest fish is 50. Top five. What do you say, Dustin? What's our top five? Can you, are you good at the math? <laughs> I think it's 50 and that was exactly what we wanted today. One big fish. We can fish for another two and a half hours. I think we won't change the spot. We are circling around this island now and I really love this spot. Two of my personal bests I caught exactly here. It was, I mean, one of the personal bests I could uh, already um, beat in Zander Pro. It was Zander. But the Zen I caught here was 95 cm in the tournament and also my personal best perch is from that spot, 52 cm, also in the tournament. Ah, 
that was a bite. It was. Yes. Uh, yeah, but yeah, now the spot really delivered again. So I'm really, really happy and I really, really love this spot. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a better, that's a good one, I think. Can you check the net, Matthias, just in case? Yes. Big head shakes. Check the net, it's a perch. It's not too big, but it's a keeper. We have at least one fish on the board. <laughs> Good! Is this fish a 47 today. fish? That is the question. <laughs> Maybe if we stretch yeah. it, we can do some yoga. The pressure is high, but here comes hopefully the first clicker. It's a clicker. So exactly 30. And now we need just 20 centimeters more. Can't be so hard. See you later. Finally, it took until past six o'clock, but now every team has at least one approved perch on the scoreboard. As far as I can remember, it has never taken this long in the history of Perch Pro. Oh, fish on, fish on. Perch, perch. It's a perch. It's a big perch. Are you ready with the net? Born ready. Toby, are you kidding me? Now it feels like a pike, but I'm not, oh, I'm not sure about this one. Even bigger. Your new person best. How big was it? It's a big ass pike. <laughs> but hey, no problem. You did what you have to do today. So you can catch as many pike as you want now. Oh, my heart was racing. In the beginning, the small pike always seems like they are bigger perch. But one thing is good, even though this is a small pike, it feels like the fish getting active again because we had such a long time with no bites, no pike, no nothing. And finally, they're like one perch and one pike in like 10 minutes. There it went. We saw some perches hunting in the surface, so we're gonna give it a try to, uh, to fish with, uh, gonna throw the Wilmako. So let's see if they want to feed on the surface. Wilmako has the titanium shark fin under, so it's pushing a lot of water with the head, and then they slide side to side also. So it's like a hybrid popper. Despite the 46 cm topwater beast caught by headbanger lures before the foam report, Pelle decides to give the topwater points an attempt and just missed a fish on the Vilmako popper in one of the first casts. A few casts later, he's given another chance. 31 cm. It's not a huge one, but better than nothing. Now we're gonna go back. Evening is here for the crawl lunker. Let's take him. Trying to locate the fish. Searching, searching, searching. We are on unscanned water, right? Yeah, uh, nothing on the side. There's a bait school. There they come, all the bait fish is right there. There's nothing around it. We should try here. We should try here. Last two hours, we have only caught, I think it's three or four fish. Six fish in two hours. Six fish in two hours. Over 30 centimeters. Yeah. yeah. Really bad. Maybe 20 below 29. Yeah, but it's loaded with bait fish. It should just be loaded with perch. Yeah, you can come and you can look here. It's full of bait fish. It's whole school. We are at our last hour of fishing. It's been really tough. We only have two approved fish this day. So we're really hoping for that one opportunity to catch a big one. We're just hoping that it will happen soon because we are running out of time. If we didn't have that 46 centimeter perch in our bag right now, it would be a disaster. So hopefully we can get at least that one top water point today. We're closing in on 8 o'clock and while some teams have more than one hour left to fish, the time has come for Team Fish Candy to pack their stuff together and throw in the towel for day two. They caught some really nice perch, but just like the first day, they weren't big enough to give them any points. There's a full day left tomorrow and anything can still happen. Me and Dustin, we have done some calculating and our top 5 total all days is 50, 50, 49, 47 and 43 as our top 5 in total. And now we really want to change the 43 to a bigger one. Oh! Is this fish or is it? It's a big fish. No, we don't have time for that. Oh, That's a pikey. It's big a meat pike. pike. The next meter pike. No, Dustin, we're the pike masters. 
We don't have time to this now with this now. I hope fly was a jerk. You have to call us for fly was a jerk. <coughs> It's a, it's a good pike. It's 90, right? Uh, yeah, I think it's closer to a meter. Should I net it? No, it will not fit the net. And then you do it on your own? Yes, I'll do it. You just keep on fishing. I'll land it by myself. Dustin, you need to catch a big perch now. Yeah, they are afraid of these pikes. That's why I caught it. Oh. Really nice fish. It's so strong. Yeah, it's, oh, it's a heavy one. It's a real heavy. I think it's. I think it's a meter pike, Dustin, oh. because it looks really heavy and really long. Nice. Look at look at the neck here. Oh, it's a good one, but not what we need. We need to hurry up, Dustin. So we're just gonna put it back. Yes. Ah, oh, I had a strike. I had a strike. Pike? I don't know. Another mean green killing machine for the pike boys, you would probably do well in fly versus jerk. Fun fish to catch, but perhaps not in the final minutes of a perch competition. Perch! Is it a perch? What is that? Oh. I don't think it's a perch, Dustin. That's a huge fish. I think that's... Again? A, I think that's a meter... Some... Meter thunder. <gasps> Next 120, we don't have the time for that. <laughs> Should I continue fishing? Of course. So he's fighting a huge pike and I'm continuing fishing for perch. Tell me when I should hand land it. Again, my 18 gram nice one fighting a huge pike. I can do nothing if you see. The head shakes are so crazy. Oh my Whoa. god, it's even bigger. <laughs> It's bigger than 120? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh. What the f is that? <laughs> Toby, you have to hand land it. I'm... My God, Austin, why? Uh, why? Oh. <laughs> I think it's huge. You think it's 120? Again, Dustin. Oh, I think that's... The engine is a problem now. Should I take up the engine? No, yeah, a bit. That's okay. Can you come? Can you, can you? Oh, no. <sighs> what do you say, Dustin? Should we be in Fly vs. Shark fish here with shot the bait? Fly vs. Shark, please call us. First day, we catch a 50 cm perch and a 120 cm pike. Second day, we catch another 50 cm perch and maybe another 120 cm pike. It is 120, don't you think so? <laughs> yes, if it's not, it's very close. Holy scheisse, catching a 50 cm perch and possibly a 120 cm pike two days in a row is simply insane. I think this might be your team chaos moment. Can you come here or... Oh, fuck, that's even bigger. That's better. Oh my god. Does... Please take it. Yes, to... I can't... Please, please, please. Yeah, but I can't take it. I can't take it. You know, the shot bait is there. I don't want to get my hand but over But it's just the... one single hook. Yeah, but still, like... Yeah, okay, no problem. I promise you, I know what I'm doing. No problem. Can you please take it to me, somehow? You I have it? it? I have it. Oh, it's f***ing heavy! No. Never let go of the pike. Thank you, Toby. Oh. Yes! F Put it in. It's... Boom. Oh, oh. You know, this is what... This is f***ing heavy. I can't take... F***ing hell, what is Take it, Dustin, take it. It's too heavy? It's too heavy. You have it? Oh yeah! I it's it's oh. so heavy. Oh. I think it's 13, 14 kilo. Oh. Oh. I think it could be 14 kilo because it's so heavy. But it's we have to hurry. Have to hurry, but measure it real quick, please. Yes. Now I'm wetting the measuring board. I'm gonna do a quick, quick measure. <laughs> oh, it's not. How long is it? 19. Is it on? Yes, it's on. 119. But it was way heavier. Do you want a quick photo? Yes. Fucking crazy pike. 
That's so crazy. That's just a mind-blowing pike right there. One centimeter shorter than the monster they caught yesterday, but this one probably weighs even more. If this lady would have been caught in Fly vs. Jerk, we would be talking about one of the top three biggest pike ever caught in the 13-year history of that format. From now on, catching a 50 cm perch and a 120 cm pike on the same day will forever be called a Neistroft classic. Even though she won't help you in Perch Pro, it's still a f***ing unbelievable catch. Great teamwork getting her into the boat, Tobias and Dustin. Last half an hour will start now. I retie real quick, change lure because it, the bike totally crashed my lure. And uh, really I hope that we will get another big perch in the last half an hour. So our new action pedal caught a big pike, uh, lost his tail. He can go and go in his retirement. I retire and then catch another big perch. It's not much time left now. We are still waiting for that one last opportunity. It's only a few minutes left of the competition and it's so much bait fish in the surface and it feels like it could happen any time. What do you think, Marcus? Will we have another chance? Usually it fires up in the evening, so yeah, I think so, but not every time. But this lightning is uh, its the perfect light for this top water action. Oh, it's done. No, 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 no. This must be no fun to walk till, or? We know you ain't for five hours. Oh, here is Elisen. Or... Or... Oh, no, 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 it's coming near. It's coming near. Just cast it. Cast it there. Now, yeah. Oh. Come on. Oh, let's go. Now, yeah. Now it's time. Come on. Come on. Oh, let's go. Okay, come on. A big one for the win. Come on now. Oh, I think that was our last chance. Oh, what do you think? Those were some really big perch. Yeah, that had to be around like 50s. It was huge perch. That was probably the last chance we got today, unfortunately. So tough. So guys, we upsized already the popper, but what we're gonna do now, we've got one hour left exactly. We upsize it again, but with twitch baits this time. So again, all in for the big one. Let's try it. Just 15 minutes or something. I go now for shadow wrap, 11 centimeters, which pretty much is the same size than the bait fish, almost. Let's see if we can get this one work. It would be so cool. One hour left. A big fish point is still a big fish point. Yes, fish on, good fish on, good fish on. I need the net, that's a good one. It's a good one, it's a really good one. This is a perch, but it's, it is a perch. It is a perch. It is a really good perch. It's the heavy rod. Must be a perch. If this is a perch, it's a giant. Oh, let it be a perch. Let it be a perch, Jesus. Please let it be a perch. There it's coming. Ah, oh, it's not so big, but it's big. Damn it, I thought it's bigger. It's not it's a big fish a point, perch. but it's, it's a, perch. a good one. Oh, it was fighting good. Fuck. It's a really nice one. But it's long though. Shit, I thought it's way bigger. It's a nice perch, so I'll just quickly measure it. 41. This is a 41. A centimeter perch on a Rapala shadow wrap 11 centimeters. Maybe there are more. It was just like two casts or three casts on this lure to, to try if they are there. They are there, but they are not hunting the popper. So let's get this beauty back. Yeah! So yeah. Sometimes you have to, to change your, your plan. I love twitch bait fishing, but that was not the plan. So we just made a quick, <laughs> quick. Uh, Change. It worked out, but uh, I think we have to go back, or I have to go back to top water again now because that's the only thing that can save us. That's true. Save the kingfisher. 
the hour is here, the longer hour. Let's do this, Pelle. Yes. It's gonna be crazy now, I think. It's 8 p.m. and Team Bidoblik have high hopes for the evening bite. Let's see how it plays out. We have one and a half hour left to fish. We had slow fishing, but I put on the vibration bait, the Super Rattlesnake 55, and they're starting to bite on this one. So maybe we can catch up with the numbers if anyone goes for it. We think that we need to secure this number point today. Then we have a plan for tomorrow. To fish this, I'm using a high gear reel from Shimano. So it's really taking much line in so I can fish it really good, fast in the water. Let's see if I can catch one now. As the sun is setting, time is slowly running out for Team Ney's draft. 10 more minutes and we have only caught one perch the whole day. <clears throat> sure. Yes! It's a, it's a big perch. It's a huge perch. Oh, oh Toby! What are you doing? Don't do this. Toby! I can't do it. You know. Put it in! Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> and it was out! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Team Kyle, what um, the f It can be another 50. Oh. It's close to 50. Yeah! Yes! The Boria! Oh! Crazy. But we have we can fish for another 10 minutes. 10 minutes, hurry up. Should I fish and you. you yeah, fish make the sure. same just on the thing. Uh, no, do we you go here? Or I can help you. No, uh, fish here on the sand bank. Yes, yes, I will, I will. I'm just gonna change lure to a lighter one. It's exactly 47. Nice fish. That's very good. Very, very good. I release it real quick because we have 10 more minutes. Maybe we catch another one. Forty-seven and the lure again, the warrior as a trailer or action pedal. Ah, Sorry. fucking hell! Oh. We can fish for another nine minutes, and it's incredible you caught that forty-seven with just like eleven more minutes to go. That's great, and I don't think it doesn't matter for the top five today, but for the top five overall, that one could have been really important. Whew. First, I thought it's a pike, but I told you here is yes. no pike on that spot. Yeah. That's why I was confused. I thought, hey, another pike? If you catch so many pikes, I mean, how many pikes did we catch today? 15? Yes, 20? more than 20. So, what kind of. Uh, you expect a pike then? Because we just caught one perch the whole day until now. Last cast for today. I don't think we will catch the, get the top five point today because then we need to catch three perch the last cast. But otherwise it's been a slow day of fishing but catching great uh, sizes of fish. 50, 47 last 10 minutes, 120, me, uh, 120 centimeter pike and uh, also a meter pike for me. That's it, no more cost. That has been quite a tough day. But I'm, I'm really happy, to be honest. Yeah, a 50 perch, I would take it any day. Yes. Someone would tell you, tomorrow you will catch a 50 perch if you go here. We would said. We are not allowed, but yes, we, yes. <laughs> we, do it. we burned our spot. But because of that, we caught a 47 and a 50. And um, I think that was our main target. Catch one big fish and uh, improve our biggest five. For sure. so, so we have a quite good result now, 50, 50, 49, 47, 47. Um, I think that's the same size Evert and Adam had last year and they won. Maybe that's a good sign. But one more day to go. We didn't know, we don't know what the other has, other teams um, caught. So well done Dustin. Boom. Now we are excited for tomorrow. We're gonna need to have a new plan because we burned our spots. Yes. So see you then. Yeah, we need to go on a water we've never been or we've never trained.
Okay, see you. Bye. Thank you. So, last half an hour, we are still aiming the big top water fish. We had two fishes right now, one on top water, one on the fridge bait. And now we are aiming also to fill up the top five. It was an awesome day, which is not, not uh, over yet, but 20 minutes left to get the plant working. Yes. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh <laughs> to top water. You really want this one? Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Yes, yes, yeah! <laughs> awesome! Oh my god, this Ooh. was so important. It's no big one, but it's mine! Good job! Zachstick, bring it again. Beautiful fish. I'm happy as a child on Christmas. So let's measure it. It is already wet and it's a 32. I think we don't get any point for it, but this little fellow wins a point in my heart. <laughs> so, say goodbye. whoop -a! Good job, man! Oh. Okay, guys, one hour left now for us. We have just quarter number eight the fish. So, we don't know if that is enough, but we will keep on hammering this last hour to maybe reach 90 or 100. Let's see. Fish on. There is yeah. one. Clicker. Nice pellet. Put on the BKK UV hook to get a little more focus on the hook for the perch so you don't miss. First cast with this approved clicker directly. It's approved. Yep. It's only one hour left now. The question is still where are the big fish? I don't know. It's so slow. Ah, that is a fish by the way. First fish in a, ah, maybe two hours or what? But I don't think it's approved. There we go. Time's up. It's for so the... frustrating. Yeah. You know? Both for the body and mental. Yeah. Seeing like 50 centimeter perch hunting in the surface and yeah. being so close to them with the lure, but oh. not close enough. Yeah, they're always a little bit too far away. Well, we see you guys uh, in, in the next episode, last day. Please share for us. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> need it. We haven't really decided what to do tomorrow, but we have a few really cool lakes to decide between. So yeah, let's hope for a better day tomorrow. The weather is gonna get a little bit better. So we hope for the best. See ya. So last cast, it was a hard day, but we had some nice fishing the last 45 minutes, I think. Yeah, we could step up our top five until 103. So that's that's pretty awesome in the end because we did it in the last in the last 30 minutes. But we had a great day on the water. We had less rain than any time, and yeah, all good things come to an end, right? So we were really hoping to get the uh, top water point today. We didn't. Well, it's not over yet, but in two meters. <laughs> so um, yeah. Tomorrow is a new day, we go for this one, have a good but short sleep and then tomorrow we go back from the archipelago in a lake again, in a small lake with long fishes. Yes. And yeah, that's the game plan. Hopefully so. it's a bit more lucky than today. Okay. Okay, oh God. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Uh, have fun, see you tomorrow, have a good sleep. Always enjoy fishing. And have a good weekend. Here we have, oh, oh, good. Oh, I missed it. Fuck me. <sighs> How can you lose a fish? With only minutes left of the day, Team Sporting Seamen are holding the number point with 84 perch, but by the bleak are only one approved fish behind. Come on now, Pelle and Peter. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Push, 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 Pelle. So dead now. I get nothing on this. We're thinking of putting on even smaller. Fan, finns det inga kvar av de där 30 fiskarna här inne liksom? Helt jävla dött. What should we do? Good fish. Good fish? Yeah, good fish. Net? Oh, he's Net. tangling it in that net pole. No, no, he was tangling the pole. That's why. Yeah, you can take the net. Take the net. Yeah. Good. Oh, it's a 40. It's a 40? Yeah, it's a 40. I don't think it's more than more than that, but I think it is a 40. Let's see. 
it's a 40, right? Exactly 40. Okay, yeah, it's yeah. evening. <laughs> it's evening. We're done. Yeah, we're done for the day. 84 perch, it's good, but we wanted more. And uh, what can you say? We did our best. Yeah, I hope we had the point for the numbers. Yeah. Today. And uh, tomorrow, it's a new lake for us. It is uh, a small lake, it's two small lakes. And we're gonna change boat because we need a smaller boat. So uh, it's gonna be an awesome adventure for us. Yes. And tomorrow, we're gonna go for the big one. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Mm. One big one. Mm. Yeah. All you See you tomorrow. Yeah. Teams out there. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful. We're coming for you. Bye bye. This is the end. It's totally dark. No bite for two hours. So uh, it's time for Team Sporting Seaman to throw in the towels, go back to the cabin, get something to eat, and get a good night's sleep and be up and fresh tomorrow. So thanks for watching, have a nice day, bye bye. It's been a rough day, rainy, windy, a good start, the first hour. Uh, in conclusion, we should have started fishing much earlier than 11.30. In these lakes, the fish obviously start to bite early in the morning and they do not bite in the evening. But we've been fighting and it's been fun and we are always learning something, so. It's been a good day. It's always a good day fishing. Thanks for watching. Take care. Oh la bash. The lows have been lower than ever before, but the highs have also been extremely high. And now the second day of Perch Pro 8 has come to an end. After a very thrilling numbers battle, we ended up with a tie between Sporting Seaman and Bite Oblique, who both ended up with 84 perch, which earns them one point each. Sporting Seaman are also given the top 5 point of the day, while the big fish point once again goes to Nays Stroft. Last but not least, the top water point was secured by Headbanger Lures, and if we have a look at the points, Team Nays Stroft are in the lead with 3 points, closely followed by Sporting Seaman and Bite Oblique, who both have 2 points in the total. Next week we're entering the final day of the tournament, and once again every team will have to change water or move at least 3 kilometers. Before we say goodbye, I'm super excited to let you know that the Canal Gratis family is expanding once again and this time we are hiring one guy in Germany and one guy in the Texas, Florida region so if you are between the age of 18 to 25 and have a burning passion for sport fishing we would absolutely love to hear from you. There's a link in the description where you can apply. That was all for now, my name is Mille Pettersson and you have been watching Perch Pro 8.